Hello there, my name is Mark, and today I want to share with you this amazing software that lets you convert any image into a material or shader you can use in Blender or any other 3D application. So this program is called Materializer and you can see the image uh, that we are going to use here as an example. Uh, this is a single image and uh, what it does, it uh, you can use it to extract a height map, diffuse, normal map, metallic or metalness uh, and I think this is the roughness but uh, in this software it's called uh, smoothness and then you also have a kind of a cavity map and then an ambient occlusion. Okay, so this is their website and uh, you can download it uh, directly by just clicking on the download link so that you can get that if you want uh, but uh, yeah it's by bounding box and uh, I'll be leaving all the links in the description so that you can get it uh, for yourself uh, but uh, anyway let's just get into the software and uh, get started so uh, to load in any map you just have to start with the uh, diffuse so you can select uh, you have these uh, options here uh, this is paste uh, this is copy this is open and I think this is save uh, so you can also look at the controls by clicking on this here uh, to see the different controls uh, you get this uh, kind of uh, 3d plane uh, that helps you to preview the textures in a re in a 3d surface like as well so let's open up uh, the texture we want to use and so it's this here yes select that and I can see now it's fed into uh, my uh, 3d surface so each map you add in you can preview how it's going to affect the final material by clicking on this show full material and you can change the the surface you're previewing here here we have a plane but you can change it to a cube a cylinder or a sphere to just uh, for preview purposes to see how it's going to be affecting how it's going to look in the final 3d application so let's go back to the plane and then start extracting a height map from this after you add in the diffuse you see that now you have a create uh, option for uh, for all the uh, for, for most of the uh, surfaces or for most of the maps here except uh, the normal map because for this in this program you have to first create a height map before you create a normal map so let's create that and I can see now we have some height added to the material uh, we can show uh, how this is affecting uh, the material right now we haven't created any height map so let's do that by hitting the create which will give us that and now we can uh, uh, just play around with different uh, settings here uh, but uh, after you're done you can just hit set map set height map to set it up there uh, but let's first adjust a few things here you can preview uh, the height map here and you can use this slider to preview uh, between the height map and uh, uh, the diffuse so let's uh, use the default preset go through the different presets and see what would work best here for us let's adjust the contrast let's uh, go to this default and uh, adjust uh, the contrast just a bit and after you're done with that you can set it as the height map and uh, we can move on uh, to the normal map you can see after creating the height map now the normal map is a uh, uh, is available for us to create so we can click on that and you can see now we have a normal map uh, then you can set it up you can trick other parameters if you want but uh, I'm not going to do that just to, because I want to go through this uh, really fast and uh, uh, we can preview the material to see how the height map is affecting you can see how the height map is that uh, has started displacing uh, some of the surfaces here and uh, you can clear it just to see how only the normal map and the height map are uh, affecting this here uh, we can go back to um, but uh, since we have removed the height map we are, we are not able to uh, to edit the height map again so let's go back create a height map again uh, we can uh, uh, your settings are going to be saved uh, if you remove it so let's just make a few adjustments to this and set it as the height map and uh, let's uh, edit the normal map just a bit and what you can after you create the normal map you can also uh, create a normal map um, a height map directly from your normal uh, right now it's using the diffuse but uh, since now we have the normal map we can use that as well and you can see how we can extract a normal map a height map uh, from the normal map as well save that as a height map and uh, let's, let's preview uh, the material you can see how uh, that looks now we can create the meta the metalness and uh, uh, so the metalness in this here is uh, a bit 
uh, inverted because uh, the black area would indicate uh, the metal parts uh, which is not the case here so to invert this you just have to play with the, con the final contrast here and so that you get a negative value and uh, that should give you a metalness uh, value you want uh, we, it will make uh, these metallic parts uh, the metal air, the metal surfaces as we want them to be uh, so you can even blur this uh, so that you get rid of some of the low frequency details and I think you can set that as a metalness again you can preview how this is affecting everything and uh, then you can create a smoothness map which I think is the roughness so uh, I think I want to invert this as well because uh, uh, the metal part should be more reflective so set smooth uh, then the edge map uh, again this is like uh, your curvature or, or cavity map so they set that and then finally our ambient occlusion map so, and then after you're done with that you just have to go and uh, click on the save icons here so we can save uh, the height map I'll just uh, create, create a new folder on my desktop Now you can go into your 3D application or Blender and uh, start setting up these materials. So I'm just going to use a plane here. And before we do that, let's actually preview how this looks as a 3D surface. So if we go to change this and see, I think this looks quite amazing. Now let's see how this would look in Blender. It's going to set up a new material. So what I've just done there is I've used, I selected the principal shader and used Ctrl Shift T uh, to select all the maps because I named them correctly. Each of these maps corresponds uh, to an input here. And uh, since I named them correctly, uh, Node Wrangler and on will help me uh, connect everything uh, to their corresponding principal uh, inputs. And to get our normal map to look correctly, we just have to add in a sun. Since we have a height map here, we can add in a multi-resolution surface and uh, subdivide this a few times. So multi-res, uh, linear subdivision. I'm just going to make sure that uh, I'm seeing everything here. And uh, then, then I can add in the displacement and select uh, my texture, uh, which is the height map uh, that we created and then just play with the, with the height and you can see what we get now uh, which I think is pretty amazing and uh, if you increase on the subdivisions you can even get better results thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video